Sony FX6 connections. Attach SDI cable to Sony FX6 SDI out. Connect all cables before turning devices on. Sony FX6 configuration. Go to the project menu and navigate to base setting, then to shooting mode. Select Cine EI for optimum image quality and dynamic range. Select your frequency according to your project's final delivery frame rate. The frequency setting is what your VFR output from the FX6 will be conformed to. Change image scan mode to full frame. Change the codec to RAW. Select RAW output format and choose 3840 by 2160 and execute. Navigate to shooting menu and scroll to S&Q motion. Set this frame rate to 120 or 100 if you're in the PAL region. Once you've selected your SNQ frame rate, there will be a confirmation message on the camera LCD. Ninja 5 Plus and Atomex SDI module connections. Attach Atomex SDI module to Ninja 5 Plus. Attach the battery eliminator to the SDI module. You can alternatively use an MPF style battery as well. Attach SDI cable to Atomex SDI module. Ninja 5 Plus and Atomex SDI module configuration. Power on your Ninja 5 Plus. Make sure that ProRes RAW is activated on your Ninja 5 Plus. Verify that ProRes RAW is selected as your recording format. Tap to enter the input menu and verify that the Ninja 5 Plus detects the FX6's VFR output signal correctly. After that, set the trigger source to Sony and the trigger to on. Shogun 7 connections. Attach SDI cable from FX6 to input one of the Shogun. Shogun 7 configuration. If already activated, choose ProRes RAW as your codec format for recording. If you select ProRes RAW as your recording format, the Shogun 7 will switch the input source to SDI automatically. Tap to enter the input menu and verify that the Shogun 7 detects the FX6's VFR output signal correctly. Prepare your media for recording. If you use an SSD that supports this function, format your drive with Secure Erase for high performance. You are now ready. Go get creative. If you require more support, please visit atomos.com support.